even though you never won that trophy, people respect the job that you've done. It was a fantastic job because when you actually look at the numbers involved, really, and I think the big one that we would look at is uh, net spend there and also 20 million plus signings, those big signings that can maybe take you up you know, another level. I just wanted to ask you about uh, that game against Liverpool that you won 4-1. And that for Liverpool, that's always seen as a, a line in the sand, that game. And from then on, Liverpool, I think, signed Van Dijk, they signed uh, the goalkeeper, Alisson, and they go to another level. And Tottenham and, and Liverpool for a few years were very close. Was that maybe a frustration, actually, seeing Liverpool to sort of make that jump? That was your first season at Wembley, because they bought those players that took them to another level. It was not about Klopp or Pochettino, it was just that extra bit of class. Was, was that a frustration actually watching Liverpool do that? I think it's, it's easy to answer, you know? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think the most important always is about how you project the future on the clubs. When you are in a club, you need to, first of all, to understand the philosophy of the club the culture of the club and what the club expects from you. And that is the most important, for me, is the, for the most important thing that you need to understand. You cannot uh, accept the offer uh, from Tottenham knowing, knowing, uh, being very realistic in, in the project that is the priority is to build in five years the new stadium and spend maybe 1 billion or 1.2, I don't know. That is going to demand a big effort for everyone. And I think Tottenham needed to build this stadium because Tottenham is a massive club with a massive fan basis. And I think today to have this, this legacy, it's amazing to try now to, to fight and to try to be the real, real contender to win the Premier League, to win the Champions League, that is what Tottenham deserve. But maybe to sign this type of player that you, you are uh, talking, with not the support that you now already have, when the club can, you know, can uh, be in the, in the market uh, with the in incomes that can produce being the club that is today, um, I think is is a thing that uh, you need to accept. Um, I was uh, really happy when uh, when Daniel called me and, uh, and offered the job. And uh, and of course after, you know, it's like the temptation. Why not? We can act like the the, the our neighbours, the another club. Always is the this temptation. Is the, dev, the devil that is touch you, you know? But I knew very well that we have some uh, aspect that we need to follow, that the priority was one. Always trying to win because for me, football is about the glory. It's about to win, it's about to, to drift trophies. Uh, it's not about the money. But I understand that, that today, more than before, are companies that need to be sustainable and it's a lot of people involved in football. This in industry, you need to care for the industry. You are a big um, responsible, like a coach, like a manager, to manage um, the life of people. And in this, in this, in this, uh, in this way, you need to act in consequence that uh, the people expect from you.